Hi, my name is Shanks and welcome to the Ligmas and Shanks channel. So, today I was just having my Saturday jamming session as I do every Saturday after work. So I just come home, play music, see whatever's new. You just jam on Saturday, don't you? So anyway, um, I just discovered this cover. Now again, it's an Alice song, of course. I am the world's biggest Alice in Chains fan. Uh, I even have them branded on my goddamn arm. Here's the tattoo up here. Uh, I got it last week. Uh, it's the sunshine. I fucking love it. Anyway, so I, I just found this cover from another band that I enjoy, Theory of a Dead Man. Now, um, this is from the time Theory of a Dead Man were actually, you know, well renowned and not dog shit. Uh, they weren't pop rock as they are now. Um, they were actually, well, they weren't much better lyrically, let's be honest. They were, um, how do I put it? They were like, if a frat boy decided to have a post grunge band, that's the only way I can describe it. The, most of the lyrics were either sexual, relationship, drugs wise, um, that sort of jazz. So, this is their cover of Got Me Wrong from the. I can't remember it. Was it the Sap, Sap EP? Yeah, Sap EP, um, which is their best EP. Don't kill me, Jar of Flies fans, but Sap is their best one. Brother, Got Me Wrong, Am I Inside, the best songs. Um, so, this one is. The original was miserable as fuck. The, the whole EP was miserable as fuck. Even Right Turn was miserable. Um, so, usually, Theory of a Dead Man, their, their music is, is quite upbeat. Po I, I don't want to say post-grunge, because it really ain't. It was more like an alternative metal sort of... Again, just that... Not new metal, yeah, sort of new metal, alternative metal, uh, al alongside people like Shine Down, Alter Bridge, uh, who else? St uh, Stained, yeah, um, those sorts. So, I'm hoping it's gonna be upbeat and slapping as usual, otherwise, I won't react to it. So, let's have a gander. I should remember to turn my window capture on this time. There we go. And let's get right into it. Oh, okay. Already, I can tell they've got similar voices. Uh, Tyler is the name Tyler, a lead singer of Theory, and Jerry, who sang the original. Um, they've got very, not not very similar styles, but very similar voice ranges. So, already from the just the initial guitar and the lyrics, I can tell it is a bit more positive and upbeat than the original. But let's be honest, the original was miserable as fuck, as I said before. Um, Actually, tell a uh, bit of background. Yesterday, I actually listened to the the what's it called? Duma, Boomer, Boomer version of this song by Alice. So obviously, it's slowed down. It's got a bit of reverb on it, as if you're listening to it from a fucking basement. Um, and that was that's just making a song that's already miserable ten times miserable, uh, ten times more miserable, in fact. So this is a nice contrast between the two songs. But then again, that was the original. This is a cover. So we'll carry on. Looks like I'm waffling now. All of this and more, nothing in my life. No colored clay. Individuality, not say.
It's already a 10 out of 10 Alice cover. You know why? Because it has a shit ton of... Ah! For any Alice fans, um, that's pretty much what Lane did half the time. Um, oh, I'm just trying to process this. So, yeah, it's a lot more upbeat than the original. Um, in fact, this the this era of Theory of a Dead Man is probably their best. Uh, I've just noticed it's on the Gasoline Special Edition. I did not know that because I discovered it on the Truth Is Special Edition, which is, don't fight me, but their best album. Um, again, that era, Scars and Souvenirs, Truth Is... Savages, those were the best three albums that they ever made, and um, anything they make now is dog shit. I heard uh, whatever the fuck the new album's called, I heard RX, all that stuff, and it was it was it was garbage. It was hot garbage. What were you think? What were you thinking, Tyler? What were you thinking? Um, oh. But this is refreshing. It it doesn't it doesn't differ from the original that much. It's actually quite similar. So this is still still banging. It's got that theory style with Alice, which is again similar. I say that uh, right. Let's do a count of how many times I say similar in this video. That's probably like fourteen. Okay, let's carry on. Yes, let's go. Me either. You know, upon further reflection, this is probably the most miserable theory song that I have heard. And I have heard a lot. Um, got sort of saying, erm, every time I want to process what I want to say. Um, oh, damn, I've done it again. So, again, like I just said, this is... It's pretty... If, well fit in for Tyler's voice so obviously the um, the chorus especially because that's what he does in most of his songs most of his songs are again hanging on the end of notes so not Marble Mouth as uh, me and Zach love so much but um, a bit a bit more I want to say a bit more has a bit more range in it so um, the bit where he goes got me wrong it's not got me wrong. It's got me got me wrong. I don't know what I'm trying to say. 
I like the chorus. The chorus is the best part of this song. But it's very, very similar to a lot of Theory's choruses as well. So, a, a bit like um, End of the Summer. I'd, actually, that's a far reach. I'd probably say something like Savages or um, Drowned. Yes, that was a good one. Not really, not really the earlier albums, but I guess this is sort of a good bridge to Savages. If it was on the Truth Is Special Edition, it's a good bridge to to that sort of darker style they had in Savages, as as a, opposed to the Truth Is. So let's carry on because I actually want to get through this song at some stage. Let's go. Okay, so that was Got Me Wrong, uh, Alice in Chains cover um, by Theory of a Dead Man. Uh, I enjoyed that. In fact, that's probably one of my favourite covers. Um, that's definitely going on my playlist. In fact, I shall do it right now. Uh, got Me Wrong. I would do if I had signal in this room, but I live in a house where it's in the middle of nowhere. So I cannot do that. Uh, I'll do that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I did. I did enjoy that. That was very good. Although it didn't differ that much from the original. Um, Theory did, or Tyler, did manage to put his stamp on it with his with his vocal style. So that was. Oh, I'm enjoying that. And if I remember correctly, there were three more covers. There was a, a Leonard Skinner one, which I, I've I've never heard that song, so I'm not going to give that one a go probably. Um. There was another one. I can't remember who, but I will find out after the video. So, as far as as far as Alice goes, um, and of course, like I said before, I am the world's biggest Alice fan. Um, let me just let me just try and get my tattoo to the camera. You see, A I C. Ow. It's still healing now. Um, yes, I would give that a solid 7.5 out of 10 on the Alice score. Um, I'm not sure what else to say that I've not already said about it, it being similar to the original, about Theory of Dead Man being absolute horse shit now. Sorry. <laughs> So anyway, this this has been my reaction of Got Me Wrong by Theory of a Dead Man, or just Theory now, or just a shell of their former selves. Um, if you want to leave a like, subscribe, and comment the videos that you want me and Zach to react to, I'm more than happy to do anything, and so is he, because that's our motto, we react to what you want to see. And I uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.